Imagine slashing a two week content creation process down to just a few minutes without sacrificing strategy, depth, or optimization. Sounds impossible, right? Well, not anymore, because in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use Sonic's SEO AI agent, a powerful tool that combines real-time data to build and execute SEO strategies instantly. Specifically, we're gonna use Sonic to create a comprehensive SEO strategy for content and keywords that can then be applied to a business website or blog. Gone are the days of manually jumping between multiple tools, waiting on agencies, or struggling to keep up with ever-changing search rankings. With Sonic's SEO AI agent, you can automate keyword research, competitor analysis, and content ideation. You can also optimize your existing content using real-time ranking comparisons and perform technical SEO audits and apply fixes without touching code, all while speeding up content production and cutting costs. And if you're looking for a way to rank higher, create better content, and dominate search results with minimal effort, then stick around because I'm gonna walk you through exactly how Sonic's SEO AI agent works. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all the AI, web, and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Sonic has a ton of amazing tools and features, all designed to help you create high quality content faster and more efficiently. However, one of their newest standout features is the SEO AI agent. And you have a few ways to access it. From the home dashboard, which is what you're looking at right now, you can simply enter a prompt here in this text box and describe what it is you want the AI to create. However, I like a distraction-free workspace. So from the sidebar menu, if you click on Chat Sonic. This will take you to the chat sonic interface which is similar to the home page but more focused and before we dive in let me give you a quick tour on the left hand side you have a navigation panel where you could start a new chat access saved canvases which we'll go over in greater detail in just a bit and view integrations this is where you could keep track of your seo strategies revisit past insights and connect chat sonic to essential tools for deeper data analysis at the center of the screen, you'll see the main AI workspace. You notice that there are four key SEO use cases to help you get started if you need inspiration as to where to focus your SEO efforts or what type of insights you need for your blog's growth. These use cases act as a starting point, guiding you toward a data-driven content strategy if you need some help getting started. Below that, you'll see a text box. This is where the AI agent comes into play. And by enabling the AI agent toggle, which should be enabled by default, the system will leverage real-time search data to provide detailed, data-driven keyword and content recommendations based on your text prompt. In the lower left corner of the text box, you'll notice some icons that provide additional functionality to enhance your SEO research and content strategy. The paperclip icon allows you to upload supporting files, such as PDFs, documents, JSON files, spreadsheets, or images. This feature is useful if you want the AI to analyze pre-existing research, SEO reports, or keyword data to generate more tailored insights. You can upload up to five files with a maximum size of five megabytes per image and 10 megabytes for other files. Next, clicking that folder icon opens a list of pre-built templates that you could use to structure your queries. Templates include options like competitor SEO analysis, keyword research, website SEO audit, and content strategy development. And if you're unsure how to phrase your SEO-related request, selecting a pre-made prompt can save time and ensure that you get the most accurate and relevant results. Next, there is an agent selection dropdown. This lets you choose the specific AI agent best suited for your task. By default, auto is selected. This automatically picks the best AI agent for your request based on your text prompt. You can also specifically use the SEO agent, optimized for real-time SEO analysis, planning, and execution. And this is the best choice for keyword research, ranking strategies, and technical audits. And then there is the content agent, best for content creation, helping generate high converting blog posts, landing pages, or social media content. Towards the bottom there, you'll find options to choose your preferred SEO data source, such as Ahrefs or SEMrush, ensuring that your strategy is backed by the most accurate and updated SEO insights available. 
Additionally, Chatsonic integrates with other marketing tools to enrich its recommendations, which you can explore through the View Integrations link. Finally, in the bottom left corner, there's a section introducing Writesonic's SEO and Content AI agent, along with a tutorial that provides more guidance on how to make the most out of this platform. Check it out whenever you have some extra time. All right, now that you know your way around, let's use the SEO AI agent to create a comprehensive strategy for content and keywords for my business's website. First things first, you'll want to enter a prompt in the text box directing the AI agent as to what it is you want it to do. And for this example, I'm going to say, I want to rank my website blogwithben.com for the keyword, how to start a blog, do a thorough competitor research of the website's ranking on Google, as well as keyword research, and then provide a comprehensive strategy for content and the keywords to use. Then whenever you're ready, click the arrow button there towards the bottom right corner, and this will send our query to the AI where it'll get to work crafting our comprehensive SEO strategy. And I should mention that there are a few stages to this process that typically takes a few minutes to complete. But as you can see, the first thing here that AI starts doing is research and reasoning, breaking down what it is we want to achieve. And then in a few moments, we'll actually see the AI's reasoning and thought process laid out in text, describing how it's going to approach this. It's quite detailed and pretty amazing to see the thought process in action. And after a few seconds, it'll switch to an outline and break down its research into sections, marking each one with a check mark as the AI completes it. And this research took about 60 seconds to complete, but for the sake of time, let me fast forward really quick. And then once the SEO AI agent is done, you'll be notified here on the left-hand side of the screen that the final output is complete. Then on the right-hand side of the screen, we have the full comprehensive SEO strategy for ranking how to start a blog on my business's website, blogwithben.com. Now, a few things to keep in mind. If you look towards the upper right corner of the screen, you'll see these little lines. These are a visual representation of the table of contents that you can access by clicking on. And this opens the table of contents where you can easily navigate the report and quickly review the different sections of the SEO strategy. And taking a closer look at this, we'll start with the executive summary. This section provides a high level overview of the SEO strategy, summarizing the key findings and the main approach to ranking for how to start a blog. And it sets expectations for the goal, timeline and execution plan. Next is the current state analysis. This section evaluates the existing SEO landscape for this keyword. You'll see some charts that present the data in a clear and professional manner. I really like this. You can also export this data here and even view more detailed data by clicking this link. But here you can review the keyword landscape that identifies the search volume, competition level, and related keywords. Below that is the competitor analysis. This breaks down the top ranking websites, their domain authority, backlink profiles, and content strategy. Below that, we have the current organic performance. This assesses where the target website currently stands in the rankings, traffic, and domain strength. Moving on, we get to the strategic recommendations. This is the core of the SEO plan detailing actionable steps starting with a content cluster strategy. This outlines the pillar cluster model where a pillar page, how to start a blog, links to supporting cluster articles like starting a free blog, starting a WordPress blog, monetizing a blog, etc. Then below that, we even get an implementation plan that looks like a high level outline for structuring the pillar and supporting pages. Next, the pillar page has a detailed content structure outline. This defines how to format the main article, ensuring a proper hook and content relevant to the keyword phrases we're trying to rank for. It's really quite detailed and impressive. Below that is the content style and approach. Here you'll see recommendations for the tone, depth, and engagement strategies for content like visual elements and even examples of the intro section. Next, there is an on-page SEO optimization. This provides you with a title tag and meta description, header structure, schema markup, and internal linking strategies. Then it also looks like there's a staged keyword approach outlined in three phases, pretty cool. Then we also get a backlink acquisition strategy that has outreach content ideas along with an implementation timeline and strategy, providing a step-by-step -step roadmap 
outlining when to execute each strategy over a six month period. And finally, the conclusion, summarizing the key takeaways, expected results, and next steps to monitor progress and refine the strategy over time. I mean, that's pretty impressive in my opinion. I'm actually gonna implement a lot of this on my site and to think it only took a text prompt and a few minutes to generate, that's amazing. Okay, another thing I wanna show you is in the upper right corner of the screen, you can interchange between the final output, which is what we're looking at right now, and the key findings, which is like a high level overview of the main points of the strategy. This is great if you're presenting to C-level executives or the board. This is like a bird's eye view of the strategy without getting into the technical weeds. Another cool feature here is if you look in the lower right corner, you'll see this little icon. And if you hover your mouse over it, a menu will appear. And here you could do things like change the language being used in the report. You can adjust the length of the report. You can change the tone being used in it, but as of April 2025, this feature isn't available yet, but keep an eye out for it. Next, you can humanize the text, and this costs 0.2 credits per every 100 words. Next, there's another coming soon feature. This is the reading level configuration. And then finally, the ability to polish the writing is coming soon as well. Then in the very bottom right corner of the screen, we have some sharing and publishing options. First, you could copy the text here by clicking this icon. Then next to that is a share button. And clicking that opens the publishing options. And the publish and copy link button allows you to generate a shareable link so that anyone with the link can view the report. This is useful for sharing reports with clients, team members, or stakeholders. Below that, you'll see some additional icons. First, you can download the report, useful for offline use or further customization. Next, there's Notion integration. This allows the report to be exported directly to Notion, making it easy for teams who use Notion for documentation and collaboration. Then there is a Google Docs export, allowing for cloud storage, real-time editing and collaboration. And finally, WordPress publishing, where you could publish directly to WordPress and convert this into blog posts or internal documentation on WordPress sites. Okay, then let's publish this so you could see what a canvas looks like. So click the publish and copy link button. And in a few moments, you get this notice letting you know that the canvas is now live and anyone with this link can view the report. Then if you click this icon, you'll be taken to the published canvas where as you can see, it's like its own web page, giving you a clean and professional way to share this content with team members, clients, executives, etc. Then real quick, if we head back to the chat, you can continue to interact with the SEO agent here and refine the report, create more content, etc. You can also close the report by clicking the X in the upper right corner. And then if you wanna start a new chat, just click where it says start new chat in the sidebar and this will take you back to the main chat interface where you can begin a brand new chat. Then towards the bottom of the sidebar menu there is a recent section where you'll see that the latest canvas is now listed and clicking that will take you back to the strategy report that we just created. Then finally if you click on integrations this is where you can configure the tool setting being used to gather the data. And at the moment, you could choose between SEMrush and Ahrefs. Then if you click on all integrations, you'll see the connected integrations as well as the ones that you can add. Yet again, giving you more ways to gather and present data in your content. And that wraps up our tutorial on Writesonic's SEO AI agent. As you've seen, this tool helps you create a complete data-backed SEO strategy by combining keyword research, competitor analysis, content planning, and optimization all in one streamlined platform. And whether you're aiming to boost rankings, find high converting keywords, or produce content faster, this AI agent makes the process so much easier. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss out on future tutorials. And before you go, don't forget to check out WriteSonic's SEO AI agent using the link in the video description below. You'll also find a coupon code there to grab an exclusive discount, so be sure to take advantage of that as well. All right, as always, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, 
comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step by step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family. And for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.